you know, Kevin Foley here, strength and conditioning coordinator, shoreline leisure and break. We're going to go through um, a lower end progression for a vertical row, and Dave's going to be my uh, model, if you will, for today. Okay, so what we're going to do is get him in a half meal, but first we want to actually get the appropriate band for uh, his level. Green should be appropriate, but again, for warm up, we're going to go a lower level band. So what he's going to do is put his wrist on the back and clamp down. So that's the first thing he's going to do, and then I'm going to get him into a half kneeling position. Okay, when you get someone into a half kneeling position, you want to make sure that you have a good vantage point and the line is always ear, shoulder, hip and knee are all in line. So I can get a better vantage point from this side, okay? You want a narrow stance, okay, foot back, okay? So you can always look at him through this way to make sure that that's in line and then again, I'll always come back and look at his waistband so there's not a tilt either side, which is good. So what I'd rather do is get him right on front, so make sure it's a little bit narrower stance, 90-90 at the knee, Okay, knee and hip, and from there I'm just going to get him to squeeze down, keeping a tuck chin, okay, all the way down, and at the bottom, without any rotation of the body, I'm just going to get him to try and bring his elbow a little bit in towards his spine, so get that little bit of movement inwards as well, so you get that scapular retraction. So Dave is a pretty functional athlete, okay, so again, this would be a lower level progression for him, okay, you could move him on to a half kneel, or maybe a chin up iso. So that would be the next progression from there because you can hold the half kneeling position quite well. Okay, but it's a good exercise to start off uh, a vertical row. Thank you.